Hey guys, so with tier 4 just around the corner, aka next week, I wanted to give you guys a quick checklist for things you should do before tier 4 hits, because there are quite a few things that you should be doing before it comes to take advantage of all of the things that are still in tier 3 and that are potentially changing in the next update. So here is a list on the screen. So first of all, we have use your platinum field tickets. So as we know, and I've made a video about this before, in tier four, you actually get a lot less life scaling materials per energy used compared to in tier three. Now, I'm not entirely sure why they nerfed life scaling in tier four, but in tier four, life scaling is going to be a little bit nerfed. So you are going to want to use all your platinum field tickets before tier four comes. That way you get the most materials that you can get. And also these materials will all be usable for turning into Arejas in tier four. So whether it's mining, whether it's fishing, whether it's harvesting, gathering, whatever it might be, right? Or Platinum Fields is going to be gathering because that's the most efficient. Um, for that, you will just want to get as many materials as you can from Platinum Fields. So that way you can take advantage of it and use them for Arejas in tier four, or maybe you just want to sell them, right? That's also another possibility. But definitely use all your platinum fields before tier four comes if you want to learn how to do platinum fields and you haven't done them before i'll link my guide down in the description below um so yeah next one is going to be quench your gear for advanced honing now what does quenching your gear mean well as we know in tier three we are currently using tier three mats for advanced honing but when tier four comes you're going to have to use tier four mats Specifically, the most important one is going to be the shards. As you can see, I have about 2.4 million shards on this character, which is all going to be going to waste in tier 4 because we're not going to be able to use it then. And the moment that I push my character from a tier 3 to a tier 4 character, it's going to start using tier 4 shards for advanced honing. So what you want to do is quench your gear. And what I mean by that is just click this temper button right here to basically start the advanced honing process. But this will be using, of course, again, tier three shards. So that way, when you get into tier four, you already have all these set. And of course, in addition to that, if you can advance hone your gear right now, get it to as close to 10 as possible or just get it all to plus 10, right? That way, again, you get to take advantage of these shards that you have in tier three and not have to worry about getting them in tier four because as we all know shards in tier four are going to be really tough to get at the beginning and it's going to be very very expensive now if you don't plan to hone your character um advance hone your character early on it doesn't matter as much but again ideally if you do have an excess of shards at least quench the gear that way you don't have to worry about using tier four shards to do that Next up, there's a little bit of a, you know, time crunch on this one slash like I'm a little bit late on this one. I apologize. I've been on a TL grind, so I've been mostly thinking about Throne of Liberty, but it's just to rest your Guardians, Chaos, and Unas. Now, Guardians, unfortunately, the date to rest it to get max rest bonus has passed. It was September 29th, but if you do have some rest bonus already, maybe you're fine, but what hasn't passed is for Chaos Dungeons, you should start resting on October 4th. So don't do your Chaos Dungeon October 4th. And for Unas on October 5th, you can get two of them and then stop. So if you have no rest on your characters, right, stop on October 4th and do two on October 5th for Unas and then stop. So definitely do that because when tier four comes again, you're going to want to capitalize on the tier four mats that are coming in. Try to get as much of them as possible, especially the shards, which for Unas, you will be swapping from honor leap stones to honor shards. I'm going to make a guide for that separately another day. Um, and then for chaos, of course, just run your chaos and the guardians do them normally as well. That way you get to maximize on the materials that you get in tier four and push your character up as much as possible. Then you're going to want to save your story quests if you haven't done them already. I know a lot of people are saving their cubes, but story is also another thing you should save because as we all know, story gives a ton of EXP. So if there's any story that you haven't done already, don't do them until next week. Even if you're not tier four yet, even if your character is not tier four yet, just stop. Don't do it because next week you will get an increase to the level uh, cap 
and will go all the way to up to level 70. So when you do your story quest next week after the tier 4 update, no matter what level you are, what tier you are, you're going to be able to start accumulating EXP towards that level 70. And then lastly, this one I'd say is not super, super important and might be a little bit more expensive. So, you know, take this with a, I guess, whatever your situation is, uh, determine what you want to do. So, and that is to replace your gems, your event gems and solo raid gems with normal gems. Because in tier four, we get a new set of gems. We get to upgrade our tier three gems to tier four gems. Now we can upgrade our current gems, but if they are an event gem or one from a solo raid shop, you unfortunately cannot push those to tier four. So they will be staying tier three and you will lose out on those percent attack bonuses that you will be getting from the tier four gems. So if you have any gems that are event gems or solo raid gems and you have the means to replace them, definitely go ahead and replace them and turn them into normal gems. So you don't have to worry about later kind of like scrambling, like, oh, I got to turn all my gems into tier four gems, but I can't. So that's about it. Kind of short video, but I think it's another very important one. That way you guys don't miss out on these advantages. As always, let me know in the comment section below if I missed anything. And also, as always, if you want to see more videos like this, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications. And also I stream every single day on twitch.tv slash me. So I would love to see you guys there, especially starting next week with the tier four update. I'm going to be doing a ton of Lost Ark then, but if you can't make it, I understand. But hopefully I can see y'all on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.